And welcome back, Haskey here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. Today's episode is on getting the extra honeycomb pieces in Bubble Gloop Swamp. This is a fairly straightforward level to get the extra honeycomb pieces on. We don't really need any fancy moves or animal forms or anything to get these things, at least not, uh, you know, abilities that aren't available already in Bubble Gloop Swamp. I do think Bubble Gloop Swamp is a pretty big map, and if nothing else, it's kind of easy to get lost in it. Everything kind of looks the same to me, and I get spun around a lot. Uh, but in any case, we'll be moving on over here to Tank Top, which is the first building that we're going to be going into. We will be going inside this turtle. You do that, of course, by using the Ground Pound ability on each of his flippers, which I guess is something that he is thankful for afterwards. I don't know. There you go. He's just going to regurgitate a Jiggy for us, which we will ignore because this is not the Jiggy guy. <laughs> And we'll just hop on inside his mouth, because why not? Inside the turtle building, we will find, there it is, extra honeycomb piece number one, alongside Tip Tup and his choir of singing turtles. Now, unfortunately, uh, I have not finished this memory game on my save file here, so every chance he gets, Tip Tup is going to show us the, <laughs> the first stage of that mini game. So nothing special here, you just gotta hop up and do another backflip on his little music stand thing. And yes, again, that one, that one, and that one. Thank you, Tip Top. We'll go ahead and grab this and make for the door, but not before seeing this yet one more time, just in case, this time with feeling. Good song, good song, such beautiful music. Let's go ahead and sneak on out of here before we have to hear it again. Alrighty, moving on to extra honeycomb piece number two. The only thing you really need for the second one is the wading boots. Those are the, the green boots that allows you to walk around in the piranha water without taking damage. Those, of course, are unlocked in this very stage. If you've not unlocked those yet, uh, Bottles the Mole is right behind the starting area. If you just do a U-turn, do a 180 degree turn, like right as you enter the level, he's kind of right behind you. It's kind of a a sneaky little spot. So yeah, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into those waiting boots and go through this maze here. I call it a maze. I mentioned this in the music note guide. This isn't really so much of a maze. It's just kind of like a long winding path. So if you're not used to going through this, this little spot of this level, don't really stress about it. It's not, you can't really go the wrong way. You just have to dedicate and not really, you know, mess around. You just go for it and you're gonna make it every time, you know, allegedly. <laughs> And really, even if you do mess it up really, really bad, assuming you have, you know, some amount of health, <laughs> assuming you're not running around this area with just one or two hit points, you can you can still make it quite a distance just by running around in the piranha water, taking the damage. You know, you just kind of keep jumping, try to minimize the amount of time you're actually in the water, and you can go quite far. Anyway, though, enough about the piranha water and the maze. It's time to get the second extra honeycomb piece, which is actually hidden right here in Mumbo's hut. And there we are. Extra honeycomb piece number two. Mumbo thought he could hide it from us by hiding it up there in the, the rafters or something. And once you know it's there, it's quite easy to grab. You kind of just get up on top of that shelf there. Doesn't really matter what side you're on. You just kind of jump into the center of the room and you can nab it just fine. And hey, we just got an extra hit point. Congratulations. Anyway, though, I'm trying to decide if uh, that extra honeycomb piece is hidden well or not, you know? I think in, in a lot of Mumbo's huts, there are things up there. So I, maybe at this point, you're kind of already, you've kind of become trained, if you will, to, to already go up there and, and take a look to see if there's Jinjos or whatever. So uh, maybe, maybe, maybe that one doesn't really fool a whole lot of people. But hey, if it did get you stuck, let me know. I love hearing about that kind of stuff. Anyway, though, that's going to do it for our extra honeycomb piece guide on Bubble Gloop Swamp. Thank you so much for watching. Next up is going to be Freeze Easy Peak. Stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next video.